Okay, so again, uh, back to deal 2017, uh, we have a sample model here. Um, we're looking at model and drawing statuses and how to use those and apply those within advanced deal. So in this in this particular instance, I have a staircase where I've applied a status level to it to say that it's been uh, fabricated. I've obviously uh, applied some marking or colorization, highlighting, however you want to term it. Um, I've also obviously created a query for that, so I've stored that in the system. So that possibly leads into how could you use that in the method of creating some documents. So I'm using the create list button, which I just pressed. I've got uh, one here that I've created. Uh, basically, I'm going to create an extract from the system. Uh, so I copied the, the existing model one, gave it a slightly different name. And it's based upon complete model and based upon assembly. And I'm using a predefined query. So I've highlighted this and then I've gone into the queries list and I've picked the one that I actually issue status issued for fabrication, which is the one that you can see over here in the Project Explorer. So I'm using that as the basis of this. Uh, I then go next. It'll come up and it'll want to give me a chance to name the file. So I can just say, you know, um, Fab status uh, for lot one, for example. Give it a suitable name, <coughs> however you wish to uh, term it. If you go to create list, that should then open the POM editor interface. So I'll just make that slightly uh, smaller. <coughs> so here we have a, a list that we've created and under here I've actually gone in and under the content, I've actually selected the approval status here. So this is a token that's coming from the fabrication data inside the object properties which we just set and we use the query as the basis of that for the search. So uh, I'm just going to leave that as it is and I'm actually going to use that. Um, I don't want to save any changes to that. I'm just going to come against the uh, query that I just created here, the extracts, and I'm just going to go OK to that. So that will now create a document list based upon that and you can see in here it's populated it with the comment uh, the actual fabrication status which is coming from the status that we set back in the management tools earlier on so hopefully this could give you some idea as to how you could use this to drive this forward into documentation as well as your drawings uh, I'm just going to save that to obviously into the system so I'll just let that save uh, I'm going to come out of that I'm going to close that down I'll revert to this dialogue um, the other thing you can possibly do is there will be a, a drawing revision status as well so you might want to use a complete model for that to do that and that'll be based against the drawings so that actually won't be based against the uh, the actual model. That will be based against the drawings that have been created. Uh, that list, and again, that's using a, a token that's in the system. And in this case, it's the drawing approval status, not approval status. So two different systems, two different sets of tokens, two different sets of lists. So hopefully that gives you some idea of how you could apply further the drawing status operation within advanced deal.